Good morning. So it's about eight o'clock. We're just a little way out of Nahera. Um, we just had a cafe breakfast. Bit of a mixed up breakfast, so I don't think today's supplies had arrived yet. <laughs> so we got coffee, we had bottled orange juice. And pastries. And, and pastries. But we'd already had a Gordon coffee in our oh, unit. Yes. It was better than the shop coffee, yep. I have to say. <laughs> so, um, quite strange. We have been through Nahera before, and there generally are three or four cafes open, and you've got to jostle to get a position. Today there was only one cafe open, and we were the only people in there. So, um, don't know whether there's Changing any. Changing Camino. Yeah, don't know whether there's any meaning to that, but it was a little bit different. So today we're off to um, Santo Domingo. It's about 20 kilometers. It's a good town. Yeah, we, we quite like Santo yeah. Domingo. So we go through Azofra first and then up the long, 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 slow, steady hill to Siruena. The ghost town? The ghost town, but hopefully they still serve pilgrims lunch in the golf club. So Gordon will be able to have a look at the golf course. Yeah, golf. Gordon can hit a few shots if he wants to. <laughs> but uh, it's um, chilly. The only reason we're a little warm is there's quite a steady hill out of Nahera. And there's a little bit of wind, but not very much. Not much. So uh, I think we're doing pretty well. Our unit was yeah. really good again last night. Thank yeah, you so when you... If you are traveling as four people, the to share a two bedroom unit between four is not much more per person than an albergue these days. So something to, to think about, even if you uh, pick up another couple on the way and make friends. Oh, and it's just really good, like the other two apartments we had, we had walked in rain. Yes. So it's a lot easier to dry all your gear. Yeah, and, and the apartments all so far have had washer dryers. Yeah. So. so that's pretty cool as well. Okay, guys, we're on the way and we'll talk to you more later. Bye. So it's just gone about 10 to 9. And way down in the distance is the little village of Azofra, we think. That's about right. We guessed it would be about an hour and 20 minutes from Nahera. Second breakfast. So yes, yeah, so <laughs> Azofra means second breakfast. Now second breakfast could be a coffee, but it could be a coffee, orange juice and tortilla. Just, or, for Michael, a cake. Or a cake or a Kit Kat. <laughs> you gotta Cheese keep, cake. You gotta keep those energy foods going, see? <laughs> So uh, Emily at uni told me that marathon runners on their tables when they run these days have sugar lollies and potato chips. So That could be on the cards as yeah, well. Yeah, so we're just doing the right thing. <laughs> so uh, so um, let's keep our fingers crossed that that is the right place. And something's open. Yeah, and something's open. Hi. So I thought I'd just do a quick shout out to Susie at our local pharmacy who's... Uh, advised us on yeah. our supplies for the trip so yep. hope you're going well yeah and uh a shout out to reese beck and ellis because yeah. ellis did his first big boy swimming class today yeah. woohoo and he's walking around like a big boy now yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh that's good to see as well but it's funny today walking along um the weather forecast seemed to indicate that it would be warmer than the last few days but i've got to tell you it's still very very cold this morning so whether they've got the temperature wrong or it's just the sun hasn't broken through yeah it's chilly anyway more later bye Good morning. Well, it is. As you can see, freezing. <laughs> Absolutely freezing. Hasn't come to any great temperature, and I think it's oh, getting it's got colder. Colder. Yeah. Everyone's commenting. Yeah. So we're halfway between Azofra and Siruena. 
motoring along nicely, thank you very much. But chilly as. Yes. Chilly as. So once we generate a bit of heat, <laughs> we should be okay. But um, lovely countryside again. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see the sun today somehow. No. I mean, it could change quickly. But lots and lots of grapevines. Lots of grapevines, yep. So, uh, so far so good. And only a short day. That's it. Bye. Bye. So heading towards Sirawina, there's this innocuous looking little hill. Um, we've walked up this before, it's a killer. It just goes on and on and on. So we're having a bit of a stop at the bottom, a bit of a regroup before we approach the hill. Um, hasn't come to any great temperature today, it's almost uh, 11 o'clock or so. So great walking weather. Um, but we're just taking five, I think we must have done five or so kilometres since Zofra. So we've been getting out there. So we're, I don't know, maybe a third in elevation up the Wicked Hill. Taking a bit of a breather. He's a doozy, this hill. It just goes on and on and on. Doesn't look that bad from the bottom. But, uh... We thought we'd just take lots of breaks. So this is us approaching the town of Sirawina. A golf course over there, doesn't look like there's too many people. Now we have stopped at the golf course before and had something to eat because they have a sign, Pilgrim's Welcome. But we just realized today's Monday and a lot of things in Spain that we've come across don't open on a Monday. And considering the fact that the golf course looks deserted, we might miss out today. Doesn't matter, we'll have a break anyway. But we negotiated the big hill, that was good. So just leaving Sirawina, we actually had a quite a nice lunch actually at the golf club. The sun's coming out. So there we go. Not sure of the story this little town is. It's been like this for 20 years, apparently. Half built. The countryside between Sirawina and Santo Domingo is uh, rolling hills. It's actually quite, quite pretty. The sun's now came out partially. We're getting along. Should be a, a lovely hour and a half walk or so into Santo Domingo. An intense yellow really makes it stand out. That's us up and over to the right at the top of that hill. I guess that's what they mean by rolling countryside. We just crested the hill and laid out in front of us is the town of Santo Domingo. Still got a bit of walking to get down the hill, but as soon as you see where you're walking to, it makes it a lot easier. So today's actually been a lovely walk. Yesterday was too far, nearly 30 kilometers. Today's just about right, nearly 20 kilometers. The sun's just coming out. Very pleasant. I can make out the steeple of the church. And that's where we'll be staying, just near there. It's a lovely sight.
evening. Hi. So, uh, Santo Domingo, we've just come back from tea. It's about nine, nine o'clock or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Had a great tea in the yeah. pizza restaurant. Yeah. Uh, friendly staff, really yes. good food. Yes. Um, and Santo Domingo, um, for the first time, I think, ever, there hasn't been festivals yes. or things on here. So it's very quiet tonight. Yeah, but maybe Monday is a quiet. But when I say quiet, it was still people out and yeah. about. Yeah. Um, but we had a great walk today. Got here in good time. Mm -hmm. um, Feeling good? Yeah. Very cold this morning, but sunshine this afternoon. Yes. Um, and I think I think we're actually feeling good. Yeah. Yep. So we're off another shorter day tomorrow to Bellarado. Um, so we're looking forward to a great day's walking tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, guys, more from us later. Good night.